Well, hello there, good people of the world. I know, I need some singing lessons. Hello everybody, my name is Chris Donna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. And if you have not subscribed and you keep coming back, what are you waiting for? Just commit to me. It's fine, it's fine, just commit to me. If you guys hit the subscribe button and you hit the bell, then you'll get all the latest notifications. So anytime I put a new video out, you'll get the notification. So if you want that, do it. If you don't, then no. All right, so remember last week we did the dresser that looked like a toolbox. Well, this is the nightstand that goes to that. To that. Sorry, I don't know. This is the nightstand that goes to that. We are going to make this into a Volkswagen bus. I have seen people do this on the interwebs and it is super cute and I'm super excited because my client's son's room is super cute. You guys saw how I staged it. Some of that stuff I stole from his room. He let me, I brought it back. But that is the theme in his room. And so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge but we've got the little Volkswagen bus. Now look at what my husband got for me. We have a like a junkyard here on base where people take their stuff and then you can, you know, pull parts from it and stuff. And I asked my husband, can you get me a Volkswagen emblem? <laughs> so this is from a car and they actually gave it to my husband because he ended up buying a steering wheel or something like that. So we're gonna pull this black stuff off of here. It's the backing of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do that because I want this to just be silver so that we can see the colors through that. So it's just gonna be silver. We don't want black because I think we're gonna paint some silver lines on it too. Not quite sure, we're gonna do this as we go. But if you guys wanna see me make over this cute nightstand to match my little little baby client's room, and hopefully we can get it really good. Cause I've seen it on a lot of dressers before. There's not too much space, but I think we can do it. So if you wanna see that, stay here. Whoop, up, up, up. The first thing I'm going to do is take my Green Easy cleaner and I am going to put that in a spray bottle. And so I can always use this. You're going to dilute it down, but you can use this. It's best to use on pieces that aren't super dirty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this entire piece and clean it with a microfiber cloth. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go every, over everything with clean water just to get any residual soap off. And then once that's dry, I am going to take a fine rad pad so probably about a 220 or above and i'm going to scuff sand the entire piece to get that shine off and then i'm going to take a microfiber cloth and i'm going to wipe away all of the dust I will be using some lighter colors on this piece, so I'm going to use Wise Owl's Gray Primer. I like to stir it really well before I use it. And then I'm going to put two coats of it on this entire nightstand. Normally I do this next part before I put a primer on, but I wasn't sure what kind of hardware I was gonna use. So it's neither here nor there. What I do when I fill holes is I put painter's tape behind the pre-existing hole and I'm gonna use a two-part wood filler. I like to use two-part wood fillers to fill hardware holes because with regular wood filler, it usually shrinks and then you have to repeat the process maybe a couple times so that you don't have those indents. So I'm gonna use a two-part wood filler. I take some that's in the can, I put a little bit in there, I use the hardener that comes with it and you're gonna fold those into each other. Now. It's going to start drying in about 10 minutes, so you don't have a ton of time to use it. 
So don't over mix it. But what I do is I take that wood filler with a plastic spatula and I push it into the hole a few times to make sure it's completely filled. And then I take a thin layer and I go over the hole, kind of like you're frosting a cake, you know, the crumb, the crumb coat is what they call it. And that way it's going to cover it, but it's not gonna be super thick. That way later on when we go to sand it, it's not gonna take forever to sand it off. Because we used a skim coat, we're not going to get crazy here. I just use a 220 grit, use my 3x4 electric gray, and kind of just go over that dry wood filler to smooth everything out. And I like to touch it, make sure it's smooth to the touch. And then I'm going to go over it with a couple coats of the primer again, just to fix any of those areas. No big deal. And then later on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on its back. Because we want to make this look like a Volkswagen bus, I'm going to dry place or dry fit all of the little accouterments to make it look like that on the front of the nightstand. So that way I know where everything's going to go. These are going to be the little windshield wipers. When I make the windows later on, we're going to do the Volkswagen in the middle. And then we obviously want the LED lights are going to be the headlights. And then the other knobs are going to be kind of like the little parking lights, the little like, um, orange parking lights, orange yellow parking lights that people usually have. And this will allow me to visualize where everything needs to go. I'm also going to take a very thin painter's tape and I'm going to apply it to the front of this piece. I'm going to outline where the windows are gonna be and where some of the design is gonna be so that I can visualize before I go in and make it permanent with paint. Although it's not permanent because you could always take it off, but you guys get the drift. Okay, so first things first, the top of this little Volkswagen bus nightstand is going to be cashmere. Cashmere is a cream off-white color, and so we want to make sure that the entire top is painted in cashmere. I'm going to do a couple layers of that first before we do the next step. Once the cashmere is dry, I'm going to try to find the centermost part of this nightstand. And that will allow me to know exactly where we need to start this little chevron pattern. I say chevron, but if you guys have seen the front of a Volkswagen bus, there is a little V pattern on there. And so that is what we are going to make. So we need to find the center point so that way we can make a line down the center. And then we're going to take some cardboard and I'm going to tape the cardboard to that area and kind of eyeball what I want. So we're going to use a little T-square and we're going to mark where the center line is it's gonna go, we're gonna use the bottom drawer because it's gonna go, the V is gonna go down into that bottom drawer. So now I'm taking a piece of cardboard and I'm going to tape it on there. And this is going to be my template for the V. I am gonna eyeball this because it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing things over the years. So we're gonna put the Volkswagen logo right there so we know exactly where it's gonna be. And that way we can eyeball where that little V needs to go underneath the Volkswagen.
I am going to try to darken the line and just make sure that it's nice and straight. So I'm going to take that little T-square and make sure the line is straight. Obviously the curve may be at my discretion, but what I'm gonna do after this is once I make it straight, I'm going to cut that out and that will be my template. I'm going to tape it back on that center part of the nightstand and I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to mark where that V is. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and mark it there and then it's gonna be pretty close to even as it can possibly be. Once I have marked the design, I am going to take my painter's tape and I'm gonna tape below the pencil marks. So that way the top will be another coat of cashmere and then where you see that little V, all of that is gonna be white with the cashmere as well. Generally Volkswagen buses have the V design on the front and then it goes up to a straight line on the side. So I'm using my speed square, my larger speed square to make a straight line. And then we're going to use the tape to go below where that pencil mark is. I'm gonna do another coat of the cashmere on there. And then I'm going to peel all the tape off once I am done with two coats of cashmere. I wanted to create a metallic line that goes between the cashmere and then the dark green that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna take painter's tape and I am going to go along the edge where that white stops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you here in a second on the side how I measure out to make an even space. I actually don't measure it, I use tape to do that. But we need an even line 
where there's going to be one piece of tape at the top and one piece of tape at the bottom. We're gonna end up sealing that and then we're going to paint it with the metallic paint. But right here is what I do. So I have these little markers and what I use is I set them right below that other piece of tape and I'll go all along the edge. And then what I do is I take another piece of tape and I will just push it down where those little markers are. And so I'll push it down right here. And then obviously this is a 90 degree angle. So we need to make sure we push it down, but I'm going to just kind of tap where that marker is tap where this one is, and then I'm going to burnish it. And this will make your spaces even. Once I have my tape on here, we're going to take the Wise Owl matte varnish and I'm going to seal that tape. What this is going to do is it's going to seal the edges of the tape so that way we don't have a lot of the metallic go underneath the tape so we have really nice crisp lines. I want to make sure that the top one is really nice and sealed because we don't want any of that metallic to bleed over to the cashmere. We do want to seal the bottom as well, but we're going to be painting the bottom with Charleston green anyway, but we just want to make sure that we seal everything. So I'm going to take the matte varnish. We're going to seal everything and then we're going to wait for it to completely dry. And then I'm going to paint it with the metallic paint. Once the varnish is dry, we're gonna take our heavy metals and this is mercury. So these are their heavy metals metallic gilding paint. And I'm going to do two coats of this. So the first coat, I'm gonna put it on there. We're gonna do nice light coats. I do long brush strokes. I try to stay with the same direction. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a light coat on here and then we're going to wait for it to completely dry and we'll do our second coat once the second coat is on and we feel like it's got good coverage, then you can remove all of the tape. The last step is to wait for that metallic paint to completely dry and then you're going to cover it with the painter's tape. You want to cover the bottom edge of that metallic paint and then what you're going to do once you have that all covered is you are going to seal that in with the varnish once again so that way we don't have any bleed through from the green going onto the silver. And then once that's completely dry, you are going to paint the bottom. So we're doing Charleston green, which is a really pretty deep green color. And we are going to just paint the entire bottom. This took two coats. And then once, so we did the first coat, waited for that to dry. And then the second coat, you can pull the tape off once you have full coverage. So even with the metallic and with this, once you have full coverage, you can pull the tape off. You just don't want to pull the tape off before you know that you need to put another coat on. I hope that makes sense. So you can pull that off while it's still wet. And there you go. We've got our cashmere, we've got our mercury, and we've got our Charleston green. We're getting there guys. Okay, so this is a salvaged Volkswagen emblem and we wanna remove the silver from the black. And so we want to use a screwdriver and a needle nose plier and we want to basically break those little seals that you normally wouldn't wanna break because that would make your logo come apart or your emblem come apart. But we want to pull that off of there so that way when we take our screwdriver, we can kind of put that screwdriver in between the black and the silver and it's gonna pop right off.
Okay, so we had to make windows and what I did is I took painter's tape and I marked out the windows. I also sealed around that painter's tape with matte varnish. And now we're taking sea salt, which is a light kind of gray color that's gonna emulate our windows. And we're going to paint a coat of that and then we're gonna remove the tape so that way we have two little windows on the top drawer. Once I have everything painted and cleaned up, I took a artist brush and cleaned up the windows on there. I'm taking the matte varnish and I'm going to seal this entire piece. Okay, everybody, I am done with this piece. I hope you enjoyed that video. So let's talk about this for just a second. These are the handles now. And then these right here are the handles that are in here. I cut this, I used some CA glue and quick and thick. So I used two different kinds of glues, two different kinds of glues to keep this adhered. And so that way this will stay here I did end up having to cut it through here and mesh it together because it was popping out a little bit more. So you may not have that problem when you are working on this, depending on the piece. And then these are little LED lights that are stuck on with the stickers or the, you know, the adhesion things that it comes with. So hopefully he doesn't pull on these because those are not the knobs. So these are the knobs. Uh, like parking lights, headlights, your Volkswagen, you got your little, yeah. Anyways, super cute, right? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, happy creating. Stay on if you want to see some really cute staged photos. Bye.